So now it's going to be Night Elf against Human on Echo. Very traditional map. So, compared to... Uh, it's an entirely different matchup. But compared to Amazonia, what would you say the biggest thing you have to watch out for here in this matchup is? Um, obviously, one shop has to be in there. Yeah, one healing shop is so important. One merchant, exactly. And um, especially when it comes late game, uh, both of them have expansions. Um, and only one uh, shopped for heat scroll. Map control uh, must be like key, right? Yeah, this because there's like hardly any creep spawns. Yeah. But Gigi is doing what he does all the time, going Dark Ranger, I guess. Or I guess he could go Panda or Beast Master. Yeah, you're not a bit not not a big advocate of uh, no. neutral hero. I don't really like Dark Ranger. But it might be just because I haven't played it enough. Uh, it was one game we watched. I don't know who exactly, it may have been Nicker, and it was on Nomad Isles against a human, and he had quite a lot of uh, peasants, uh, quite a lot of skeletons, I mean, in the early game, and with those he was actually able to cancel the expansion entirely. It, of course, was set up again, uh, like, two minutes later or something. Do you think the advantage you get from that is worth, like, not having a demon hunter? If or you cancel expansion, yeah, definitely. He did uh, lose in the end, though. All right. So I don't know if it was Shou Shishi, but in my notes I know one uh, Knight of Human. I think it was him. Played a lot of Beastmaster first against uh, Human. On this map, though, you'd expect Dark Ranger. Yeah. Typically with all the little uh, Murlocs and stuff. When you play Dark Ranger first, is it uh, worth considering? All right, how likely is it that I'm gonna get level six? Nah, <laughs> that can't ever be in your mind. It's, uh, it's too much of a, of a stretch, right? Yeah, it's, a, it's like Demon Hunter. You want it level 6. So yeah, this is interesting. He's not creeping the mercenary camp. Yeah. So I guess he's going to do, He's going as soon as he's prepped this, he's going to creep the other small green camp, get level 2, and then immediately go harass. I think that's exactly what you should do against Tavernero. Just don't let him creep up to high level. And yeah, Panda. Okay, so you think, uh, now that he's seen the panda, would you say he's really strong against an expansion, so he shouldn't go uh, try to get one? Um, I think he should still get try to get one, because rifle cast is not going to beat panda. And yeah, I mean, I mean, ju I mean just, I mean, just not right away. Not like right away, yeah. Just harass for a while. Just don't let him get to level three. All right. So uh, he also scouted the, 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 what do you call it, the creep, the creep camp he wanted to take mm -hmm. with the Ancient of War next to it. So of course if, now if he can't creep it. Yeah, now it's definitely too late, but he could have uh, run over there more quickly. Oh, no micro. Yeah. So um, this map, is it favorite for one race? In your it's pretty even. In your mind. Yeah, it's pretty even, because both races can easily get up an, an expansion. Mercenary camps are good for both races. Oh, he's taking. And the fact, come late game, the fact that there's only one expansion for each yeah. should play into the cards of the Night Elf. Right? Yeah, definitely. It's nice to know and you never have to worry about another one. So, um, Panda first. Do you think he's maybe experimenting here? Or is this, uh, is this one strategy he will pull out even if he is uh, fighting for his tournament life, say? I've got to assume he's practiced it a lot. Because it's something we rarely see. Uh, normally, also, it's played um, as a single hero, right? Has he? Uh, well, well, he likes going solo warden every now and again. No, I mean panda. Panda. Yeah, I yeah. That'll be solo, yeah. Level 3 breath is, of course, amazing. But don't you lag in the hero focus department significantly with a, with a panda solo? Yeah, that's the bad thing about him. You can kite him so much. I still don't know how rifle cast is going to be panda. It just doesn't seem possible. I mean, he could be going for a tier two expansion, could he not? That's true. But you're, you're absolutely right. He's uh, putting a lot of uh, emphasis on not letting the panda get up to level three. 
But what I, mean, I like to see humans doing is while they're harassing like this, they just send a ton of peasants down to the gold mine, yeah. and then they just creep it solo with militia. But I'm, but it's a big, uh, fat blue ogre, so I guess it's gonna take at least like six or seven of them. Yeah, I'll say it takes six. So now the pan are finally able to creep something, but still level one. Interesting to see Infi playing like this because normally he's always like more uh, passive and more uh, expansion oriented. But against this uh, neutral hero, it makes you think he's scared of the panda. Like maybe he's played against it before with expansion, and just hasn't managed to beat it. Uh, good point. Now he has two shadow priests and uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right. That, that funny. You often see Chinese humans do this against panda. Personally, I just don't think heal spray is a good spell, but. Doesn't it also heal oppo opponent units? Yeah, it does. It's, uh, I uh, don't know. It I guess he knows more than me, so... It, it looks like a clowny game now, to be honest, like... Uh, Alchemist, but alright, let's see how he fares. Alchemist does deal a lot, a lot of damage, the only thing is he hits slow, and he has no armor. Uh, yeah, really good free jack. And kind of... Uh, putting his uh, Berserker there in the corner. Also not the best thing. <laughs> there we see heal spray again. <laughs> How much mana is it anyways? Not much, right? Maybe like... I think it's like 65, 75. Uh, that's, I would say that also. It makes you wonder though how much better Naga would be. Like, is Alchemist actually better than Naga right now? Uh, yeah, Footman would be uh, more hurt, but also focusing yeah. archers would be a lot easier. But he has no dust. So very back and forth, very uh, scrappy early game here. Battling it out. Yeah, and Rifle Pass is behind it. So he's probably just going to do a tie two push. Isn't Naga so strong with Rifle Caster because you yeah, can focus is. so well and things have a, or units have a hard time getting away? Yeah, like Panda will never be able to get close enough to the army. Just get focused down immediately. And now he finally is level 3. Oh, and there immediately see, we see the pain. And he's gonna step into the heal spray to get healed himself. And yeah, this looks weird, this game, I would say. Looks like it's going really well for Gigi. This tech is pretty fast. Oh, Demon Hunter. And a Demon Hunter second. This is interesting. That's... I don't know if I've seen that before. Panda first, Demon Hunter second. That's uh, your combo, just the yeah, other I way know. around. He's got it wrong way around. It's interesting that he chooses Demon Hunter against uh, Alchemist, I feel yeah. like. Against Mountain King, it would be much more, would make much more sense to me at least. But maybe he's afraid of the healing spray? I'm not sure what hero would be better. Maybe just Solo Panda would be better. So when you see this right now, do you take it still seriously? I mean, it's Infi, so I guess you do take it seriously, right? Yeah, it's gotta be serious. It just, it just looks so, uh, so clowny to me. This right. is not what you expect from Night Elf as a human. Absolutely not. What would your reaction be right now, your game plan? You see, alright, <laughs> Rifle Caster, one base, Echo Isles, Alchemist second. This is weird, what do I do? I'm just thinking, just rush bears. As soon as you get bears, you win. You've got to assume that he's going to do a tire 2 push, so just be ready for that. The one thing that I see elves doing every now and again is making ancient protectors. But you should never make an ancient protector against <laughs> rifle cards. Never all. It just doesn't do anything. It's just a waste of golden wood. There was the last breath and uh, Knight is still quite a ways off. So he's getting the Mauler to increase his strength. But I mean, there's no hero focus at all available to the human in form of the hero. So and he no, doesn't have any breakers, close. so as soon as the bear get out... And he doesn't have a staff, why? Was that sloppy or was it a good choice to keep them the resources? I think it's sloppy, to be honest. Yeah, seems like that. Also, very, very high up on number. And now... With, I mean, he has to know sources are coming up, but I guess he does have abolished magic, so he can deal with it slow. so much work to this army. And the heal spray really hasn't done that much. Uh, right, everything's so low on HP. Now a warden with level 2 Phantom Knives would, uh, yeah, that'd be fun.
So, Shishi should be feeling good right now, right? I mean, the opponent's Yeah, he's close army. to tie three, isn't he? I think uh, so. Yeah, he should be. Uh, he is already. Oh, he's already tie three. And uh, yeah. master upgrade halfway off. All he needs to do is to survive, survive to the late game. Do you think Inti should be pressuring with towers or should have pressured with militia and towers right there where the panda was very low and the demon hunter had died? The thing is he's just in such a bad spot right now. Like if he pushed right then, it just wasn't gonna work. And so yeah, his only other option is to try and creep. So it's gonna be late game, uh, potentially late game, um, Alchemist against Panda and Demon Hunter. That doesn't sound very promising. Yeah, so he has two more bears popping out in a second, so there will be, will be three Master Bears and also two Rejuice he can work with right now. What, uh, does he need to make a mistake to lose to this army? Or is it kind of even? Uh, I'd say he has to make a mistake. Depends, like, if he misses controls his uh, diorads, then he could lose. Because he should, of course, always have them on auto, I mean, not auto dispel. Just dispel the elementals. And not dispel the slow? Yeah, that's what I do. Okay. The water elementals are much more important to kill. Okay. That's a nice insight. Also, the sorceress is now pretty much out of mana. And yeah, the bear does not that much damage. Also, the slow from the Naga is always good against bears, yeah, but not this time. Yeah, a little time. bit of miss micro, just standing still for a bit, but it's not he, that important. He, he isn't getting any... St no, there's a staff, alright. So, do you get two staffs as soon as you can, or just no, one? No, I stick with one. Why? You think when you staff back uh, two, you can't heal him up anyways? Partly that, it's partly habit as well, though. Okay. I never really see the Chinese elves take two as well, against human at least. Against undead, you should take two. Um, why? Because they always just focus down like bears so quickly. Okay. Is Undead the most explosive army to fight against? Yeah, for sure. As soon as the mana destroyers are up. But of course, they're only there pretty much once in the game. And against human, though, you can just micro your bears backwards. Don't really need to start them. Did you see some games of uh, Yumiko? Do it, um, working a lot with ivory towers, positioning them on certain spots in the map to have some position to fall back to. Have you experienced that yourself? Do you mean like after he's expanded, he would like uh, tower the shops? Um, normally, where he tries to pressure. Yeah. Like when he wants to attack so either, like either, push, then. either main base. He doesn't work his way over there. He just has like three or four towers reinforcing and he tries to pressure that uh, part of the map and then he falls back and falls back and of course keeps kiting the bears who are slow. Yeah, that's definitely really good. Because the human army lasts so much longer than the elf one. Because they always have mana. And just they'll all run out of mana. Good point. So, um, does he have a wellspring up? Yeah, he does. Right? And of course you've never got enough dispel to, dis uh, to dispel all the slows. Exactly. Two more bears right now. That's a big shift in power. And now you just... You just A-click your bears or do you micro them uh, individually? I just A-click them. I uh, guess that's best for damage output. Yeah. So was I wrong about this game? <laughs> I don't know, it's uh, no bear has died quite yet. He could have staffed that one, I think. <laughs> Maybe Alchemist is a lot better than I thought. He's out of mana though now. Oh, but he does deal some damage to the demon. Uh, well... Two bears have died and I haven't seen any staffs. Oh, that hit. Oh. <laughs> staffs that demon, honey. It's definitely one mauler with four HP. Ah, okay, right. So, who do you think has the upper hand right now, if you look at the situation? Uh, how much mana does a panda have? That's what uh, really matters. I think he's uh, he has just other mana. Alright, uh, one, 125. Does he have any scrolls? The human that is? I think he used both of them. Alright, so Panda should be able to. Oh. Yeah. That, that does a lot of damage. But uh, once Knight runs out, it's gonna be a problem, right? Once Knight is over. Yeah, it will be. It's just used with Moonstones and stuff like that. Well, 
Moonstone's gonna be gone soon. By the way, there's no Orb of Venom. Is that a problem? Should he, should he have uh, kept, um, prioritized that more? Uh, since he didn't go Demon Hunter first and his Demon Hunter is quite low level, it's not as important. Of course, Orb and a Panda isn't very good. That's uh, two sorceresses. That's not that many. Should he uh, try to always mana burn them? Or is it uh, probably more important on the heroes, right? Heroes first, yeah. After that, I always do it on the sorceresses. It also seems like he, he has, has a good amount of diary today. It seems like the mana isn't too effective. He's not leveled that yeah. high. It means he also has a few items, not much damage in general, to not me, many stats. Demon Hunter always feels so weak without the orb. Yeah, and without level two mana yeah, burn he doesn't also. Really do that much I damage. Think. But still, only one staff. I mean, bears are low on mana, but every now and then they do have mana for rejuvenation when you staff them home. Does kill a bit off here and there now. And yes, seems like. Where's the panda gone? Ah, there he was. From behind. Nice breath of fire, Dragon Haze, hitting, hitting everything. Is there kind of some kind of formula Whoa. that you go by? Finally, level 3 by killing that alchemist. And now he's looking really dire. Well, only one more bear, though, and the demon hunter is gonna get killed unless he gets stabbed, but he doesn't. Just was barely out of range. Wasn't on cooldown. He's panda close to 5 now. Yeah, he's oh, level 5 right now. now. But no mana left. But he should have enough mana f uh, money for a mana potion. Looks like Elf slowly breaking for him. Ah, he has no shop, right. Mm. Ah, he oh, rebuilt yeah. it. Nice. Nice overview by him. Probably Moonstone and mana potion right away. But uh, doesn't have money for both. Or oh, level 5 Archmage as well. But still, 3 Dryads. How many dispels that? 4? 5? Yeah, 4. Four or five? I'm not even sure. Yeah, and at this point, I mean, now the the tier two push has finally subsided, and level five also on the panna. And I would say, if he wins this game, it's during this daytime. Do you feel the same way, or do you think he has more of a chance to come back? Well, that doesn't uh, <laughs> bode well. Yeah, looks like MP's. Well, not. In oh, yeah, it is MP. What am I talking about? Looks like MP's out of options at this point. Except the one thing that's keeping in though is those water elementals. Oh. You just never have enough to dispel them all. Uh, oh, <laughs> rejuvenation on it. You have to uh, use the skill, skill manually on the breakers, right? It doesn't uh, auto steal it. Yeah, when it's on heroes. you should do. Water elementals are doing their job. But Demon level 3 should be out in like, I don't know, a minute or something. Ah, sooner actually. I think once he comes out, it's uh, yeah, not gonna be easy. Still a tree close though. Crazy actually. Panda, once he gets 6, it's over though, right? Yeah, for sure. There we go. There's still no warp. Important mana burn though. No, no water, no man. Yeah, so uh, I guess that was a weird game to do analysis of. Yeah, definitely. It's hard to, <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to analyze Because it's so uh, unusual. I never play games like this myself. Akim is already level 4. Now, finally, Militia coming over. Maybe now with some towers added, it seems like a weird timing. Uh, there it is. Infi loves his towers. What's he okay. waiting for right here? He's healed up, he's full mana, and uh, well, he's ready to roll. Oh, the. Alchemist, I thought, was uh, trapped against the trees right there. So close to six now. Uh, but uh, divided by two, it's still gonna take a little bit. Again, saving the staff for the demon hunter, most likely. And of course, no scrolls. Yeah, because he's never been to the middle uh, since, I don't know, 
10 minutes or something. And yeah, scrolls, no scrolls against level 5 mm. Panda, it's pretty much impossible, right? That's right. And I guess uh, this is gonna be pretty much the end. Level 6 for Panda, no mana, but also nothing left for Infinite, basically. That was a really back and forth game. Yeah. Didn't expect that after the Panda, yeah, after the Alchemist. For some reason I thought Panda would just beat Rife Caster easily, but apparently not. Uh, I guess you can skip out on the heal scores a little bit if you get an Alchemist, but probably not what you want to do all the time. Yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the two replay casts we did with uh, War Chief. It's almost seven right now, but I, so I think we're going to be heading over and having some dinner. After that, what are we going to be doing? Probably re uh, trying to interview some players, right? Okay. Are you feeling well, my boy? No, I feel sick. <laughs> Me also a little bit. But we're gonna go to the sauna later and ho hopefully gonna feel better tomorrow. Thank you guys for tuning in a lot. Yeah, this was fun. Uh, we, we're glad you also had fun. Yeah, we can do it again tomorrow. Right? When we have time, tomorrow's gonna be a lot of games though. But in between... Yeah, I'll be yeah. up there as well. Certainly. Um, See, there's, there's a break like between here, the lunch break, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so... Uh, Want to say goodbye and see you tomorrow? Goodbye, see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This has been Back to Warcraft from WCA 2014, Yinchuan, China. This was day two. We're going to be back tomorrow, day three and day four coming up. Stay tuned and see you guys. See ya. See you.